All right, y'all, I got this cheap vegetable steamer at a big box store for $8. It's got a feet on the bottom of it, about an inch and a half long. They fit right down in the grate on the solo stove. Uh, no tools required, you just drop this right in. Bang, push that down. We're gonna put two cups of pine pellets. All right, we got the other one going as well. During a previous test, two cups of wood burned for half an hour. Actually, more like 45 minutes. That's enough to get almost any sort of meal preparation done. Fire starters are going good. Pretty soon they will ignite the pine pellets. The previous act involved using a simple tool and two parts. And wound up spending about $15 on those parts. This hack only cost about $8. I'm not gonna use the pot stand for this, I think, so they have a good view into the fire area. All right, we're starting to get some ignition on the pellets. Some black smoke coming off the paraffin wax on the fire starters. Now we got some heat going in there. The pellets are gonna start to ignite. I did not come up with this idea on my own. I uh, watch a gentleman by the name of Mark Young from Canada and he has a lot of stove videos and bushcraft videos and I saw him use the steamer as just a wood stove by itself. Made a pot stand for it and just uh, made his fire right in the steamer. So I thought, why couldn't I put one of those inside my solo stove? I gave it a shot, it works just fine. Right, the fire starters are not even halfway burnt out. They got a long way to go. I can get as close in as I can to that fire. We have a few pellets lit fire will start to spread around the whole fire area. I am not going to show you all 30 minutes of this burn. I'm going to save that for another video, but I am going to take it till we get a, a good strong burn and maybe the secondary burn. I've had the stove almost four years. And I've done a lot of cooking on it, had a lot of fires in it. I've done a lot of really dumb stuff with it too. One time I tried to burn diesel fuel in it. 
I did not film that one. It was not pretty. You guys, if you're messing around with these stoves and stuff, make sure you have a fire extinguisher around or a big bucket of water ready to go. All right, the fire starters have burned down into the pellets. Now we're getting more of the fire spread around the surface area of the pellets. All right, the fire is spreading to the rest of the pellets. Our camp neighbor's dog is excited about something. We're currently camped at a Florida State Park, the northeastern corner of Florida near Jacksonville. Kind of a windy day, so we didn't take the kayaks out. We're just taking a rest day. I figured I'd share this uh, solo stove hack with you. I know that during Christmas time, solo stove offers these stoves. Buy one, get one free. That's a great deal. These are durable items, durable goods. Good strong burn coming off those pine pellets. Could definitely get some cooking done there. I got a 25 pound bag of pine pellets for $15. I'm sure you can get them cheaper in the northern areas of the states where they sell pellets for heating fuel, but I had to buy kitty litter. All right, we're starting to get a little secondary burn as well. Awesome. We're eight minute, nine minutes in. We'll put the pot stand on now and see how it looks. I think that definitely helped with the secondary burn. Concentrated it. All right, I'll show a few more minutes of this and then I'm gonna fade out. Thanks for watching. Get outside and cook something. James Reed, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up.